What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, our friends over at Enjora sent over a set of their mini comp pin tires and a set of their six spoke aluminum CNC uh, beadlock wheels. And so in today's video, we are going to install and review them. So up on Enjora's website, these are $20.99 and the tires are $14.99. So $35 for a set of wheels and tires is not too bad. Very budget friendly. Currently right now on this build, I'm running the little guy racing parts, LG three tires, pretty tall. And they have the flubber stuffers inside of them. And then I also have the MoFo deep dish premium wheels um, with no offset. Overall, I, I really do like this, uh, this wheel and tire combo, but I mean, enjoy some of these out. So let's give them a try. So here is a closer look at what we are working with. So all the hardware is included, everything you'll need. And there's also some hexes in there. Um, look at these. They are offered in a quite variety of colors, but I stuck with uh, the silver. It's almost, it's not a silver. It's more like a, like a grayish kind of color. I thought these would match great with uh, the RC Addiction high clearance links that I have on this build already. And then for the, um, the tires, we have, uh, I've never had a set of these, but these are comp tires. So what that means is that they have a lot of little pins on them, which allow for more grip. So they're not kind of modeled after anything. They're kind of just an advantage um, design, I guess you could say. But um, they're pretty similar. Maybe they're a little bit smaller than what I'm running right now, but I mean, I'm not too worried. And they also come with a phone in them. Let's pull it out. There's the foam. So it's pretty thick foam. Pretty standard stuff. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see this build and tire combo. So let's get one together. So there is a great look at the tire and wheel combo. It looks pretty freaking awesome. It was super easy to assemble. Um, took me probably less than a minute. There's nothing really tricky. You just gotta line up your holes. And uh, yeah, you're all together. So there it is. So it's an Enjora comp tire, 55 by 20, I'm assuming millimeters, and it's mud terrain. And so there's a closer look at the at the, um, the tread pattern right there. So this is what I have on the truck right now. And so as you can see, it's a little bit smaller. If I put it like that, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how big that is, but it's a little bit smaller and it's a little bit thinner. But um, I have I have a plan for these for something else, so I'm not too too sad or anything, and uh, we'll just kind of give these a try because I'm here to try them out. All right, so I have two of the wheels and tires on the buggy build, and I think I thought they would be able to be used on this build, but just by looking at it, I don't know, it's kind of funky. I don't really like the small look of it um, compared to this side where it's a lot bigger. I don't know looks more capable. I just don't like the look. Um, so we are going to use these on a different build that I haven't really shown at all on the channel, but they should um, be an upgrade from what I have on them right now. So let's get that on the table. So this is my killer chassis build. It's nowhere near completed at all. It still needs a body. There's a lot of things I still have to work through um, on this build, but I think those tires will look a lot better than these small little Patagonias with these uh, little guy racing parts wheels on them. So let's swap them on real quick. Okay, so here is a new comparison of the different wheels and tires that I'm going with or swapping out. So it's the Mud Train Enjora comp pins on the left, and we have the RC4 Drive Patagonias on the right. These are an actual real tire, um, but I mean, I like the height of these ones a lot more and the look. And it kind of matches the killer chassis build a lot better. Um, I'm definitely liking that higher stance and it matches the, the chassis a lot. So let's swap out the last one real quick. Got my little my tool, trusty, dusty tool, awesome tool. <laughs> and then uh, with uh, the wheels, they included these, these hexes. And these are a little bit, they're not as tall as the stock ones because uh, I guess it impacts the wheel somehow and it fits perfectly in that little slot. So definitely swap those out um, if you can. And then uh, put on our hex real quick. 
and it's on there and now we are all done i'm actually liking these on this build a lot more now it's actually a, looking pretty darn clean if you ask me i always get confused this is a rear steer build and it has two servers on it so i always forget where the front is it's up here because that's where the battery tray is but um i have some things to switch around on this on this uh, build i'm still very lost on it right now kind of built it off the channel but anyways let's get back to the wheels and tires look at that looking awesome looking really awesome let's see if we can get this thing running on the couch for a little bit all right here we are on the couch we have the comp pan tires with the six spoke drawer wheels and we are going to get up these two pillows doing one-handed driving and filming so spare me ah. there's no way we're gonna get up this but I don't have to try. Oh, oh crap, I gotta record it. Oh, no. No way, no way. We actually made it up, holy crap. This is where that rear wheel steer would come in handy. There we go. Hey man, okay, so that was actually not too bad. But um, yeah, so that's what they look like. Hopefully I'll be able to do some videos on this build, really haven't, but overall I want to say these wheels and tires are really awesome. They look great. And I hope they perform off some sauce. But overall, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace out. Thanks for joining. Later, I will get it.